Look at that tree there. That is cherry, and that's a lot of decay in that. And that, believe it or not, is the top cut. Right there. See the big gnarly base? It had three leads to it. It's tough to see exactly where those three leads were heading off. And then it was all cabled up with triangular shape, a triangular pattern of cables. So it's a very stable pattern there. But that top cut that I showed you come right off of here. Right there. Doesn't look too bad from the ground, right? You'd never think it had like 95% decay in there, right? There's, there it is right there. Now, if you look a little closer in the tree, yeah, you can see the tree's got a hollow here. So, you know, the tree had a split, and then that hollow there, there was no question the tree had to come down, but even that surprised me that there was that much decay at that level right there. The cherry tree was growing all out over that garage. Pretty heavy tree, a lot of top to it. Just amazing that that cherry could hold itself up with that little bit of wood. And as you can see, there was quite a bit of weight in this tree. Now, it did have the three cables in it, the triangular cables. Very important there. If you can get, if you have a structural problem in a, in a lead, you can get one cable in good. But if you can get three cables in, that triangular pattern is very, very strong. Let's take a look at a whole other tree that was in serious decline, but who knew it had this kind of decay at the base? Right there, another cherry tree. So one of the things I want to point out about hazard tree assessment is that a lot of it has to do with species. You want to look at how heavy the top of that tree is, how much decay you think there is in the base of the tree, but also what kind of species you have here. Very, very little good wood here but the tree was holding itself up fine it was 50 60 feet tall still standing and the same with this guy here see the big gnarly base for perspective the blue glove fairly sizable tree but when you see all these old gnarly bits in here and like the way there's all this wavy formation in the in the in the bark area you ought to be expecting problems. And then, of course, that decay there, that was that was it. I saw that decay there, this thing being so close to the house. Knew it needed to go. And there's that top cut that was made right there. And doesn't look too, too bad from the outside of the trunk. And this is the top of the tree right there. That All that decay, just very, very little wood at all, holding the whole top of that tree up. Of course there were three leads so this isn't all this wood wasn't held by that one piece but a good bit of it was it was mighty heavy had a lot of big heavy branches on it so cherry is a very strong variety and the three cables really important